What's up everybody, welcome to another video, and this is going to be the second iteration of weird and underrated plays that actually worked in week 4 of the Madden Ultimate League. So we're going to start off here with Young Drini on offense, single back wing, and the play is going to be wide receiver drive. Now the reason the play actually worked is awesome, because of the fact that I actually made a video on Musafa's run defense a couple of days ago, going over his adjustments out of the cover 6 and how he was doing such a great job of stopping these outside halfback stretches. And so he goes with the same exact setup, and Drini, knowing this, takes advantage of the weakness that basically comes out of the adjustments that he makes. Now, at the line of scrimmage, you see he flips the play, and you actually saw Musafa's play art. And so what he does out of this cover six is basically you have three deep defenders. So you have an inside quarter right there, you have an outside quarter right there, and then this safety on the opposite side is going to drop into a deep half. Now what Safa was doing was he was going ahead, leaving the inside quarter in the deep half on the right, and he was manning up the outside receiver to the side that he thought that his opponent would run the ball. And so what this does is not only does it allow him to keep up with him in a passing play if he happens to run a fade route or something, but also that outside defender generally shoots to the inside and doesn't get blocked on these halfback stretches, and so he's able to make a play on the ball in the backfield. Now, Drini knows that this is the adjustment he wants to go to, so Drini calls a play wide receiver drive that has a corner route coming from that will tie spot. And so what this is going to do is it attacks the vacated area of the field that Musafa is creating by basically turning his deep outside quarter zone into a man-to-man -man defender. And so it was actually brilliant. Drini, knowing that this was what Musafa was going to go with, flips the formation to get it going to the wide side to give Will Ty more space to work with on that sideline. And so you're going to see at the snap of the ball, Bo Jackson manned up on Tyree Kill underneath. Will Ty gets to the outside. Night Train isn't able to get over in time because he is on that inside quarter zone. And walk-in touchdown for Drini right there. Now this next play is going to be from True Boy running the run heavy playbook Gun Ace Hitch Corner. So this is the only playbook that this play is in and it does a great job of attacking if people uh, that you're playing like to run these really aggressive Tampa 2 style blitzes if they're turning you know crossfire into Tampa 2 basically sending five or six guys and leaving the entire middle of the field to their user defender this is a great way to attack it it's literally just a smash concept on both sides and what you're gonna see at the snap of the ball is Twee sends six has five underneath or five dropping back rather two deep safeties behind both of the button callouts there and then you're going to see two flat zones on the outside and then one man to man or one zone defender over the middle rather which is Tweez's user defender so the route concept that true boy chooses to go with is he actually just runs this play stock you have double hitch routes on the outside and then you have double corner routes coming from the tight end spots and that's where you really want to focus here is that those outside flat zone defenders are going to be absorbed by those outside hitch routes and then that leaves Tweez in a catch 22 scenario where he has to pick one of the two corner routes to try and defend in this case it becomes a simple basically if then statement on Tweez's user if you know Tweez goes to the right you throw the left corner and vice versa if he goes left you throw right true boy just has to stay patient in the pocket actually picks up the pressure because he blocked six sees where or where Tweez's user goes, throws the opposite corner route low point so that that safety has no shot at getting down and making a play on the ball in time and picks up an easy first down right there on third and nine. Now this final play is going to be PA deep cross out of the strong close formation from Tweez and I'm actually going to show you guys two different setups that he uses to run this play against Dubby who was calling a lot of cover three cloud which I think was more of a scouting decision because Tweez really struggled against the cover three cloud whenever he played Safa in joke and so I think Dubby obviously recognized that and said, okay, he struggled against it at a nickel 335, so I'm going to run it. Dubby runs a lot of 3 4 odd. I'll try it at a 3 4 odd. So Tweez kind of seemed like he was a little more ready for it in this matchup, and he's going to go with a cover three beater here. So basically, this play has a deep post coming from the right side of the field from that Tyree Kill position. So he's going to put him on a deep post, and then on the outside, he puts Ted Ginn on, on an out route. And what this does is it basically makes the outside zone defender in a cover three shell. So this outside cornerback out here, it distracts him. He has his eyes on the out route underneath, and he doesn't get back quite quick enough. And so what you're going to see, basically, as soon as Tyreek Hill crosses the face of that middle safety in the middle deep third, you're going to be able to deliver a ball. And it's actually going to be a really tight throw, but that's what you're going to see develop here. 
at the snap of the ball out route by Ted Ginn you see the outside defender right there looking down underneath he's still backpedaling he's not bailing and getting back and you see Tyree Kill running across the middle of the field the middle safety is going to try and defend him but he's going to cross his face Tweez does a great job setting his feet throwing and Tyree Kill ends up laying out for a huge play for Tweez early on in that matchup now literally one play later here, you're going to see Tweez run the same play, Dubby still in the same defense cover 3 cloud, but now Tweez is going to go with a completely different setup. He's going to leave the deep crossing route from the left side by Ted Ginn, crossing from the left side of the field to the right side, and now what he's going to do is going to block Bo Jackson and Grant, he's going to put Tyreek Hill on a hitch route, and he's going to curl Derrick Henry out of the backfield. So what this is going to do is this is going to give him check down options underneath along with playmaker options. And what he really wants to do is get out of the pocket with Deshaun Watson and try and roll out and hit that Ted Ginn route whenever he crosses to the right sideline where he's right below that deep zone and right behind the flat zone. So that's exactly what you're going to see here. Dubby. His user is going to get caught up in the mix. He's going to be looking at those underneath playmaker options. You see, as he sees the playmaker callout come up under Derrick Henry, he assumes that Tweez is going to playmaker Henry either back towards the left side of the field or up the field. And you see him circle around with his user defender. He gets caught up by the playmaker option. He doesn't follow the Ted Ginn route. Ted Ginn ends up making a nice possession catch on the sideline for 19 yards where that deep zone defender Larry Wilson wasn't able to get down quick enough and that flat zone defender was left too far underneath to try and make a play on the ball in that scenario. So that's going to be it for this video guys. Definitely leave comments and let me know any feedback on kind of this series since I know it's something a little different. I thought you guys might enjoy it since it isn't the same cookie cutter meta stuff every single time and I think it's pretty cool seeing unconventional stuff work at the, at the highest level of Madden, such as in the Madden Ultimate League. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.